continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent administration reminds you to record all suspicious activities. Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. for sure and we'll lose our advantage. They may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully that's enough. yet. We need to take out those remaining soldiers. I've got the trap on them. Permission to engage. Do it. right now. Be careful.
one out fast! Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's going to change. Let's move. security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. Central, pressure 
one is down. You have to get out of there. We need another exit. Now! Got it covered. Decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. Cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal, vital stabilizing, procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... Uh... A lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. 
It's damn good to have you back, Commander. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention! Unauthorized presence detected. Commander! Give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention! Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more... ceremonious. But we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby Advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. A squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. with resistance forces in the area have gone dark, which can only mean one thing. These people sacrificed everything to give us this shot. We need to recover that converter at all costs. Commander, getting a fix on the device, but it looks like it may have been damaged during the fight. Energy readings are going crazy. I'm guessing we don't have much time before it explodes. Shen's working on a way to stabilize that thing, provided we can get close enough to access its core. Stay in the shadows until we can get a better read on the situation. Good to go. The Advent officers seem more capable than the Grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. Moving to designated position. Objective here. Okay, you should be able to hack into that thing's safety protocols and stabilize it. Shen is uploading the fix right now. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Frag out! Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, 
Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Hostile terminated! out of time here. If we don't stabilize the converter soon, I don't think anybody's going home today. If you say so. Watch my back. are returning to normal. Well, mostly normal. Firebrand is en route, but I wouldn't take any chances. Eliminate all remaining hostiles in the area before evac. Confirmed. Mission accomplished. A few of our people earned well-deserved promotions, Commander. I'm guessing Shen will probably want to have a word with you, too. These items should prove useful in our ongoing efforts against the aliens. When you have a moment, Commander, I have made some interesting discoveries as they relate to the implant we removed from you earlier. Why are you all just standing around? It's perfect. Come on, let's get it inside. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it. But from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. 
Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Looks like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. We're ready for you on the bridge. Just stay clear of the perimeter, understood? Commander. Good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies. And it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir, given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer, yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification... Massive signal good. coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple Crum radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, you got incoming on approach. Your signal's breaking up. Outline territories to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you. Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again. We will ensure your continued safety and well-being throughout this crisis. Get your people out of there. With your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace. Prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. Commander. We have a squad ready to move on the Resistance Haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out.
We're picking up an intermittent distress signal, and as far as we can tell, the aliens are hitting back against one of the resistance outposts. It doesn't look good. We're moving in to secure the area as quickly as possible. Neutralize all enemy contacts. Menace 1 5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Whatever you say. I've got eyes on an Advent position. I'm glad to see the Resistance has their new recruits training. They need to be prepared for the next advent sweep of this area. Move out! <laughs> At first, advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. Moving to position! Civilian casualties, Commander. We have to stop this. about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. Is that all you got?
5 status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live admin officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. New objective added. We're making progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Welcome to the Proving Grounds, Commander. It seemed like a good idea to isolate some of our more experimental concepts, especially when it comes to weapons development. I'll have the team get started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. Hello, Commander. The Council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. 
What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent Black Site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Commander, our current position is here, just outside Resistance Headquarters. When we're not on the move, this will serve as our home and our source of supplies. The Councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local Resistance cell nearby. Tygen has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but... We'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Tygen just sent word. The new Resistance Communications Network is fully operational. Now we just have to spread the word. After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Setting course for the Arctic Territories. We've established contact with the local resistance, and we can move on the Advent Black Site on your order. We should make sure our troops are fully equipped and ready for a tough mission. I'm guessing security will be tight at the facility. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. Contacts in the local resistance have shown us how to access the Advent Black Site. The aliens worked hard to keep this place under the radar, and we don't know what we're gonna find in there. Keep your heads up. Expect heavy opposition. Confirm the black site is in your immediate vicinity. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. We're in a concealed position. Already there. Income! Without the introduction of human DNA, these creatures once operating under the guise of thin men now show their true form, a purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. Copy, moving on target. 
Hold on, are those... Bodies. The, the containers, the trains. This entire facility. The aliens are still abducting people. From the looks of it, they may never have stopped after the invasion. Those containers look like they have self-contained power cells. It could be some kind of stasis system. It's possible at least some of those people might still be alive. to go. entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Some more? You are vulnerable. sample. We'll know for sure. Go, go, go! This is an extremely well-equipped mechanized combat unit. We'll need to look for vulnerabilities if we're going to take that thing out. Thank <laughs> you. 
position! Processing the new data, but we will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our intrusion. We're good to go. Commander, that appears to be the Codex responsible for safeguarding the alien data stores. We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. Good copy. Moving on target. Anything like this. The Codex is projecting multiple copies of itself into our dimension. Moving to position. Nailed them! Seems doable. My mind is my weapon. Well, how about that? Excellent work, Commander. It appears some physical remnant of the Codex was left behind when it dissipated. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the aliens' ongoing plans. No problem, boss. Advent forces on the ground. What am I doing with this? Guessing that's not water in there. Shen, any readings? No signs of radioactivity, no significant energy signatures of any kind. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. We've confirmed acquisition of the sample. Move to rendezvous at the extraction point. More of them coming in! Position.
Heading there now. Good copy. Moving on target. I'm gone. Avenger, this is Firebrand. Package is secure. Heading there now. Just in time. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Mission accomplished, Commander. We just hit Advent where it hurts. This was a place no living human being was ever intended to see. Happy as I am to see it gone. Something tells me the aliens won't take this lying down. Commander. Please thank our troops for completing what was surely a difficult task in acquiring the Codex Brain. We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. Now that we've recovered the apparent product of the Black Sight facility, I imagine it will take considerable time and resources to uncover the true purpose of this substance. I will begin preparations for a complete analysis immediately, Commander. Having now seen the inner workings of the Black Site facility, the outcome is perhaps even more troubling than I had expected. It is clear the aliens have undertaken a gruesome task. I will leave this matter for you to investigate, Commander. seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. Although I'm impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network, the depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. New objective identified. Advent Station. Advent Station. 
New objective added. We are fully prepared to begin our analysis of the material recovered from the Advent Black Site, Commander. With the Shadow Chamber fully operational, we can use its advanced decryption capabilities to analyze the Codex artifact recovered by our forces. Commander, we're making progress piecing this thing back together, but it hasn't been pretty. Our soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, it is well past the point of feeling hate. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new sequence now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. I think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. Forget the data. It's accessing the power core. Overriding my safety. Increasing power levels to Titan. Sever the connection. There. Some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The Codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead of it. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. I've marked the location Shen pulled from the Codex, Commander. It's a remote region, out in the woods away from any populated areas. We'll need to contact the local resistance forces if we want to get a closer look. New objective added. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. Shen and Tygen barely managed to pull these coordinates from that codex thing they had down in the shadow chamber. We're guessing this may be its origin point, but can't know for sure. Based on the fight it put up, I'd expect heavy resistance either way. Good luck down there. The target coordinates are just ahead. Move to investigate the site. Hostile presence is currently unknown, but expect the worst. Position is obscured. Stepping off. We've got an enemy squad here. Steer clear of those berserkers. They can't do much from range, but they're lethal up close. Going hot! Kill them!
Chrysalids seem a little smaller than I remember. Then again, it was never really their size we had to worry about. Orders confirmed. On the move. Hostile neutralized. Finally! Something under the ground. Expecting to find out here. It was promising. That's not the same rift the Codex used when it appeared. This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination. This one is uniquely graceful compared to some of the other species we've seen. It also gives off very strong psionic readings.
boss. Our target, minimal damage. Burning through ammo, fast! Absolutely. You can't run from my power. Status confirmed. All hostile contacts in the AO have been eliminated. The gateway is secure. Status confirmed. Commander, we've secured the psionic gateway, and recovery teams are en route to the site. Now it's up to Tigan and Shen to figure out what this thing does. The distinctive alien artifact we recovered from the field resembles a portal or gateway of some kind. Although we believe it provides the aliens with a means of long-distance travel, potentially beyond the confines of our world itself, it will take time before we can truly understand the gateway's function. Based on what your team witnessed in the field, Commander, it is clear this psionic gateway provides the aliens with some means of far-off travel. It will be up to you to determine not only how it functions, but exactly where this gateway leads. Central, Commander, excellent. My analysis of the fragmented codex data is almost complete. The information I've uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the Shadow Chamber, as you'll see. Is that... an Elder? Haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The Elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration, rapid muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. The Elders have been aggressively searching for a cure to their condition for centuries. Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material they required and moved on to the next world. Until now. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the Avatar Directive. Avatar. We need those files. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely, provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. Still can't believe it's come to this. I truly hope those gruesome images are the worst of what we find today. They're slaughtering us, Doctor. What could be worse? We're about to find out. I've patched the Shadow Chamber directly into the ship's computer. It's been sifting through the material we've recovered non-stop since our return, cataloging sequences. Genetic sequences, in near-infinite combinations, yet all bearing similar genetic markers. Human markers. There must be thousands of them. Tens of thousands, and the procedure is still nowhere near complete. Which is why we need the ship's computer to find out where they came from by cross-referencing them with the data we've managed to hack from the Advent Network. It's... an admission file from one of the gene therapy clinics. Avatar. Just what exactly is in that vial? In my worst nightmares, I would never have imagined. Doctor. I believe we have found the missing civilians. That's... That's impossible! The gene clinics. Millions of people. 
just looking for help. Medically screened and selected. Suitable candidates taken to that contemptible facility to be processed, refined into the material we now possess. But why do this? I could not begin to fathom a guess at this point. There exists no research that would ever warrant this. It's genocide, Doctor. And these people are walking right into it. We may not know what they're doing with this stuff, but I think I can find out where it's going. Got it. It's a high security production facility. Standard defensive complement. Then I strongly suggest we pay them a visit, Commander. Agreed. The information we gain could prove invaluable towards stopping the aliens' true agenda. We've made initial contact with the Resistance operatives working in this area, Commander. They're going to show us how to get into the Alien Forge facility. As far as we can tell, this forge is some sort of alien production facility, most likely tied to that stuff we found at the Black Site. Advent and the alien forces won't be happy to see us, so expect heavy resistance. We have to do whatever it takes to find out what's going on in there. This is Avenger. The facility is in range. Move to investigate. Our position is masked. I'm on the move. Hostiles making the rounds. Commander, that codex provides the ideal opportunity to infiltrate the Advent Network. We will need to move in with the Skulljack to initiate the process. used this to defeat most of Earth's heavy conventional forces. It can punch through armor just as easily as it chews through infantry. Be careful. Adjusting aim! They're on us! something entirely new. An alien species that has so far managed to elude capture or observation by resistance forces. I strongly advise a cautious approach. The mind is willing. Copy, moving on target.
I can handle that. Hit the armor! That armor's tough! Headed there now! Seems durable. Seems durable. Your flesh is weak. Not too shabby. On the move. You know that was good. This is it, right? Location confirmed. These aren't civilians. They're Advent. Yes. And judging by the subject's condition, I would say it was recently manufactured. No wonder they just keep coming. The aliens may have cleaned up the design, but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. Down. 
Heading out. Enemy down. No problem, boss. Didn't do much. Heading to that location. I only scratched him. Hostile terminated. First, it's human bodies. Now we're finding Advent. Something tells me they didn't abduct these ones. Looks more like a production facility to me. The configuration is different. Is it possible? Could this be where the Advent forces are coming from? Nothing is beyond the realm of possibility when dealing with the aliens. Understood. Moving out. <laughs> This is Avenger. Package is in range. No problem, boss. How can that be? It's just like the one... Carefully! Preserve the specimen at all costs! Confirmed acquisition of the package. Move to evac. Confirmed. Target package in custody.
on the move! Evac confirmed. We've got what we came for. Let's get clear of the area. Commander, although I firmly believe the specimen we have recovered is crucial to the aliens' efforts. We currently do not have the means of properly studying it. Within the confines of the suit we recovered, we have found what could very well be the prototype for Advent's seemingly limitless forces. Even focusing my efforts solely on this research, it will take a significant dedication of time and resources to fully analyze this specimen. Your findings at the Forge facility are disconcerting, Commander. If the aliens are somehow assembling or growing the Advent forces in mass, our efforts to defeat them will be that much harder. I will leave you and your team to pursue this further. Spike is our only chance of getting out of here. We can't let the aliens take this ship. We're going down, Commander. UFO contact has disabled our systems. Brace yourselves. Menace 1 5, situation critical. Primary Avenger systems are offline and hostiles are moving to engage. Shen, any updates? Commander, we've got a critical system failure. The Avenger is dead in the water. I'm diverting reserve power to the scanners and they're picking up a powerful radiation source nearby. We need to locate and destroy whatever it is disrupting our systems. We may have a bigger problem, Commander. We're picking up heavy comm traffic. Dozens of Advent transports are inbound on our position and they've got battleships in tow. The aliens are sending everything they've got. We have to get the ship off the ground, or we may not make it out of this one. Affirmative! Advent forces on the ground!
Commander, I'm sending reinforcements in from the Avengers Reserves. Fire in the hole! One five, we have visual confirmation on the disruptor. Destroy it and let's get the hell out of here before it's too late. Sending reinforcements in from the Avengers Reserves. They're bringing in reinforcements! Commander, the situation just got worse. Resistance outposts are reporting enemy transports on the move across this region. They're getting ready for an all-out assault. Moving! Keep 
Bringing in reinforcements! Target destroyed. Excellent work, Menace 1-5. Shen, what's our status? Whatever it was, destroying it seems to have lifted the disruption field. Engine control systems are coming back online. We should be clear to take off within 60 seconds. Commander, we can take off on your order. We should get the squad on board and get moving. Here I come! Excellent work, Commander. Looks like the Avenger lives to fight another day. Just like the one we found the Commander in. On the surface, yes. But in function... Ah, Commander, excellent. We can begin. It is no secret that Advent soldiers possess both human and alien genetic characteristics. Preliminary analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host. Prisoners, or perhaps even unwitting volunteers. See your local Advent recruiter today. However, the reality is something else entirely. The Advent troopers at the facility we discovered, including the specimen before you, were manufactured. Each soldier possesses a unique genetic code. Predominantly human, of course, but with some fragments left open. Left open for what? Whatever alien DNA Advent wishes to insert. Sectoid, mutine, even the species our soldiers refer to as berserker. In all cases, human genetic material serves as a bonding agent, holding the strands together. Human material? You mean the stuff we found at the Black Side facility? Precisely. The key component in their soldier manufacturing process. So we've been fighting ourselves this entire time. In a way. But I believe there's more to it than that. The human DNA in this specimen bears one key difference from the entirety of the sequences decoded in the Shadow Chamber. Psionic sensitivity. Given the sheer volume of strands involved, this cannot be accidental. The screening process at the clinics. Avatar. The potential power of a being created with this template is... significant. Central. Had we not intercepted it before the process was completed... I know, Doctor. Continue your research. Let us know if you find anything else. one who can pull this off. You know I'd go myself if I could. The gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. 
I hardwired what was left of the Codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the Codex used to pass through the gateway. Excellent. Let us begin. We've already seen the Codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. to record across all spectrums. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through, okay? Whoa, are you seeing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. Doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The alien's seat of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. We're counting on you. Process did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. We are now prepared to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered, Commander. I feel that we may be on the cusp of attaining a complete understanding of this avatar we have long sought. This creature represents a near-perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though remarkable, it appears as if the creature were unfinished, perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one logical conclusion. We have found our avatar. It won't be easy, but I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go right ahead. Commander? Central? The Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black Site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can. In a way, by manipulating the new avatar via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe 
if not fatal trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. That was different. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door, which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. Priority message for the Commander coming through on a secure channel, sir. On screen. Sir, it's coming from the Advent Network Tower. You heard me. He's taking a big risk contacting us like this. Hello, Commander. You and your crew are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. When does he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy. A final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. We have the target site locked in, Commander. This is our chance to strike at Advent's heart. Once we control the network tower, we can finally show the world what the aliens are doing. There's no turning back after this. Commander, it's time we put Advent down for the count. This'll be a two-pronged assault. First, we hack the heart of the Advent tower and disrupt their network before the speaker finishes his latest broadcast. Shen's cooking up a little surprise for them that should more than get their attention. With Advent in an uproar, we'll access the portal and take the fight to their front door. All goes well, they won't even see us coming. It's risky, but it's the best shot we'll get. Once we start this, there's no turning back. Infiltrate the network tower. Locate the access point and hack in to seize the broadcast signal. Running. We've got a hostile squad here. Got it covered. Transmitters. 
They didn't put a whole lot of effort into disguising the alien tech involved. The design may be a function of the network itself. The amount of psionic energy filtered through that system is beyond measure. They've seen me. Tower. The signal is going out. Yeah. 
sir. Meeting limited resistance. Well done, Doctor. Yes, it would appear the feedback pulse is having the intended effect. Shen, status. Did it work? Advent assures us this breakthrough will be available to all citizens immediately. We go live to the speaker for more. Fellow citizens, for 20 years we have put our trust in Advent, in the elders. Because we believed a better future is possible for all. Today, that trust, that belief, has been rewarded. Advent peacekeeping forces are traveling across the world, carrying the greatest gift from the Elder. A revolutionary gene therapy, yes, but so much more. This is an end to disease. To decay, to pain. The beginnings of a new tomorrow, available to all of us today. Truly, humanity finally takes its rightful place amongst the stars. I've infused this material with the entirety of our viable Elder DNA. We won't get another chance at this. Final connection is set. Power levels adequate. One more look at the Shen, buffer. watch you go over this thing 50 times. Take a breath. We are ready. Primed and ready, sir. Patch me through. All right, people. The world got its wake-up call. And now they know the truth. Advent is a lie. And their time is up. They've got a full-fledged war on their hands now. While the aliens struggle to contain our world, we're gonna make a move on theirs. It won't be easy. But you're used to that. Did what was needed. You never gave up the fight. You are XCOM. You're gonna end this. Humanity is counting on us, people. Good luck, Commander. No way of knowing if they detect our presence yet. Such loss. Such need this waste. You force our hand. Yet still, we offer peace. Rejoin us, and your world will be saved.
That's affirmative. Just as we saw surrounding the gateway in the field, the alien flora seems to flourish in close proximity to the psionic fields passing through these systems. on both resistance and civilian targets. There is still another way. You view us as the conquerors of your world, but that was never our intent. Each species you've encountered, the aliens you have fought and slaughtered, none were given a choice. Our home was the oldest of worlds and the first to be consumed. Billions were lost. If only that were the end. Whatever you say.
Commander, Resistance forces are pushing back against Advent, but it's coming at a heavy price. At this rate, there may not be anything left on either side. From here, we can call upon an endless legion of reinforcements. You will be overrun. Yet our armies could be withdrawn at any time, Commander. Peace is within your grasp. If you would just rejoin us. For decades, you were part of this, Commander. You are capable of so much more. And yet you fail to grasp the true nature of your power. Return to us, and your world will live on. Resist, and there will be nothing left to say. I can handle that. of some randomized disruptions in enemy forces on the ground. Units suddenly laying down their arms mid-battle or turning on one another. With the tower disrupted, it could be that the Elders are attempting to maintain the network on their own. The strain on them must be... enormous. Our power does not leave. You find our forces here loyal. They require no coercion. For they know failure here means the end. Consider all those who have sacrificed for your cause, Commander. So many friends. So many allies. For what? When we first encountered Earth, we wept for a broken world. For a tortured race crying out to the stars in agony. We answered your call. We saw your true potential. The first invasion was a test, but your people did not fail as you believe. You succeeded beyond the measure. You need only accept your place amongst us. Keep pushing, Commander. They're losing their grip on the world and they know it. We have lost nothing, for our greatest weapon returns to us. You will defeat them here. As you did once before, Commander. Got it covered! What is that? Some kind of human enclosure? There were always reports of missing civilians years before the first invasion. Could this be them? Maybe they had planned to use this for some sort of psychological testing. I'm going.
down. Target neutralized. By the numbers. Astounding. This entire facility submerged beneath our oceans. For how long, I wonder? One problem at a time, Doctor. One more is but a shadow of action. We seek to defy that which would consume us all. Your efforts deny the surface of the floor. You leave us seeing something entirely new. An alien species that has so far managed to elude capture or observation by resistance forces. I strongly advise a cautious approach. You are our greatest adversary. You are Avatar. You can lead our armies and save your world. Return to us. There can be no more delay. Though I find the possibilities proposed by the creature intriguing, I believe we have passed the point of rational discourse. We didn't come here to talk. Yeah, take it down. Your persistence is admirable, but tired. It is time to accept the path laid out before you, Commander. Return to us. You were once our greatest asset against this world. It can be so once again.
target eliminated. Reinforcements! Got some advent here! Get 
confirmed. Tell me you've got a plan B here. Nice work. Was it anything on my end? This shouldn't even be possible. Unless... Commander, whatever it is you're doing, it's working. Just make sure you save enough juice for your own trip home. Commander, you okay? We just lost contact. Enveloping the commander's consciousness. 
Then sever the connection! We do that, we risk a complete overload. We won't claim what was given. We will be whole once more. No! Synaptic activity returning to acceptable levels. And one transdimensional psionic network down for the count. Mission accomplished, Commander. This is the Liberation Network broadcasting on all frequencies. Advent is in full retreat across all areas. Heavy fighting continues in the city centers as Advent forces attempt to regroup. We're barely keeping up with the flood of refugees here, as people continue to desert the Advent-controlled city centers. Full curfew remains in effect as the administration deals with the ongoing crisis. To all of you in the occupied zones, hold your ground. Continue the fight. We promise you, help is on the way. What the 